Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm joined by Summer McLovin. Hey, folks. Let's get on to Game 2, the finals. Yeah, this is Game 2 of the War of the Ring 2021 tournament between Saved by Him and Lord Aragorn. And if you haven't seen Game 1 yet, then uh, I'll include a link to, the, to that video in the description below. And... In game one, Saved by Him played the Free Peoples, and Lord Aragorn played Shadow, and so they are reversing that for this game. It is a best of three match, so if Lord Aragorn wins this game, then that's the end of the tournament. Lord Aragorn wins, and if Saved by Him wins this game, mm -hmm. then we go on to game three of tiebreaks. You can check out that soon. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that one next if that happens. So we have not seen this game, and we're just going to comment as we go. And if you are seeing this for the first time when we premiere it on YouTube, then you can chat along with us and add your comments. Those chat comments will be saved. If you're coming to this video later, then you can watch the chat, the live chat, as it was discussed by the community by clicking on watch chat replay or something like that um yeah that the top right is somewhere yeah Sorry. top right if you're watching on yeah. on uh on a computer okay uh -huh. with that let's jump in so we're going to view everybody's hand we can see that there's aomer and file of galadriel for free uh, very good if we get some volunteers yeah or very good even without frankly right right good card. yeah those are great cards to start with pits of mordor dreadful spells for shadow also pits of mordor pits of mordor is a very nice one mm -hmm. yeah Cool. All right, and so one night start, and we roll away. Yep, here's the roll. Only one oh, muster. Yeah, no, no additional eyes, but only one muster. And it looks like that's a, I'd say, a pretty good roll for free people. Also, they move. Oh. And oh, first, it's first the move. Of, it's yeah. a reveal. Yeah, let's see, a three. All right. Mm. Well. Oh, that's, that makes sense. But there's a shame that he's not going to get a minion out to then use that Will of the West to right. get that offense straight away. Right, exactly. This is one of the a little bit of a silver lining for only rolling one muster this round. Gandalf's yeah. earliest Gandalf can show up as round three. But I would probably do the same on a three. I would be less, or two or something, maybe not. Right, right. Okay. okay. So... Yeah, drawing cards this time makes sense. Yeah, because you know you know you're only going to play one this round. Exactly. So it makes sense to draw first. I mean, I'm guessing Pits of Mortar gets played, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe say by him will draw a um, a third card. I'm, uh, a fourth card in their hand. And just to be clear, say by him his uh, his name is Jason and um, Lord Aragorn's name is um, Elia. Okay. So muster, Sauron. Yep. So I think if if Jason had gotten two musters, he would have done Isengard and gotten Saruman. But mm -hmm. with only one muster, particularly with a devil of Orthanc and fighting in a kind hand. Yeah, <laughs> but, but yes, but Sauron on his own has better prospects. And also, Pits of Mordor require Sauron mm. to be at war. So oh, absolutely. I think this is going to be Mount Gundabad, Moria, Dol Guldur, and go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe not. Oh yes, I'm not good about good call. And then of course he's immediately going to draw Orc Small Bank again. <laughs> that would be a lot of units there. All right. So yeah, I mean the Woodland Realm can go under siege. You know this round. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, easily enough. All right, move again. Oh, and get caught again. So this is a very efficient first. eye. This eye was working very hard. Oh, a reveal on a two. Mm. Where would you? Uh, where would you go? With nothing you. else going poorly, maybe we'd just go Holland. Yeah. With no extra eye, no extra dice for the shadow as well. Like if they could suddenly start chucking a lot of eyes and do a lot of other things, then I would maybe take it safer. But we'll see what he picks. Yeah. Let's see. I think if it were me, I mean, the problem is we have these army movements. And so, you know, if you declare in Holland, then one of these armies is certainly going to end up 
on the fellowship at the start of next round. You do get to hide with Strider's ability, but mm-hmm. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, high pass. High pass is certainly high pass. Yeah, it's it's not, not a wrong move, move for sure. Safer route. All right, and in comes the armies. So that's what was the other army? Oh, and Mount Gundabad to Karak. Oh, which yeah. is fled from. Makes sense. Yeah, Mount Gundabad to Eagles Eyrie and. Um, yeah, I suspected he would do all for a short. And because he has a character dice, it doesn't make a difference to him. So. Yeah, I want. Is that. Is well, that I suppose it stops them walking into Karak. Like, and all. Well, no, because he couldn't do that if he didn't move all for a short. So, never mind. Yeah, I. Okay. It's not clear to me what what the purpose of that is. Why not just muster the North once toward war, and then as soon as Carrick gets exactly. taken, or as soon as Dale gets taken, then you get to muster in the other place. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's not. I'm not sure I understand. Not as this. much utility as normally, but right, right. Well, what's his other one? He also gets to make another move. So yeah, that's true. Getting that unit into Erebor is certainly good, but we don't have. They don't have scouts. So, yeah. okay, so that those armies move along and north progresses. Oh, okay, yeah, they went for Karak. Okay, yeah, if you can take it for free, I mean, that seems pretty nice. Fellowship hides, and yeah, oh, that's interesting. I would not, I would not have, um. Expected that. Well, if, if you've moved into Karak, then. And yeah, you can funnel in on the fellowship. So I suppose. That's, I wouldn't say that's a bad move either. Yeah, it's just. It's interesting to me. I, I don't know that I would have done that. I, I would have been more inclined to just attack Old Forest Road and not not worry about these rerolls on the fellowship. But mm. one, one extra reroll is. That is nice. I think with. Because he went for Carrick as well, I would. It makes sense to you know do Carrick and then the Fellowship. But if he chose to tackle for a road, then he would just he's just like no, I'm going for Woodland Realm. That's it. So fair enough here. Yeah, I mean, it's not a priority to attack all for a road. I think. Really, I mean, this if round. if Shadow, I mean, if the Free People draw into. Um, scouts, it's one extra unit that ends up in Woodland Realm. Um, I suppose. I mean, it's small probability, but maybe, I mean, the benefit of this Nazgul right here on this action is that it um, gives you one extra reroll on a six. I just, yeah. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Morgul Wound is good. And Shadows Gather. Wow, these are good. Good cards for... I do like Infarmier's Rangers early. But oh, you don't yeah. tend to see massive charges in Gondor at the start anymore. It's always due amongst the the competitive end. Right. Two musters this time. Yeah. Here comes a sprint. Yeah, certainly seems necessary. All right, so there's the first move. And a third hit. <laughs> it's so th- that Nazgul, that Nazgul is doing a good job. All right, and a reveal for one. Yeah, one, one damage. Easy to take that. Yep, just takes one damage. Makes sense. And yeah, this has certainly been bad luck for. Oh, and Morgul wound straight away. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is hard to imagine a worse start. For... Roll on game three. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. All right. I so mean, it's play a few passes, I expect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Old Forest Road gets attacked. That's interesting. So saving the character die here. Why? He has the attacks to keep going. Although, yeah, dreadful spells isn't something that's going to be one. I guess to... unless. Oh, you not school, but. Yeah, I wonder if it's to, yeah, I wonder if it's to move Nazgul again at the end of the round. That's interesting. I might have been inclined to use that character right there, but Jason is. If he's not got the other marches to do, then yeah, that's right. And both of these players, I'm 
I haven't checked their ratings list, but I think I believe that both of these players are top ten in the world. Um, I think Jason is one or two. I'm Jason's just, obviously, yeah, he's number one or two. And I, I'm not. I think. I think. A a player. Is, is I read I will very quickly check that, but keep going. Okay, so yes, they both know what they're doing for sure. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so that's a hit into Old Forest Road. All time. Aragorn is six in yeah. the world in all time, right? Six, six in the world, right? And and Jason is what number two oh. right now? Right now he is. I think he might fall below Cheech. Number oh, he's four. third. Peter, then Cheech, then okay. Jason. So this is this is yeah. number three in the world versus number six in the world, <laughs> right now. This is a good, very good finals. All right. So Jason attacks Woodland Realm. That makes sense. And for yes. for anybody who's um, new um, or not as familiar, Jason is going to save the muster action to get the Witch King after, or I guess potentially Saruman, but most likely the Witch King after the Will of the West is used by the Free People, because mm. That's uh, otherwise Gandalf could show up turn two. This way, Gandalf's not going to be able to show up because there won't be a minion in play. All right, so Dale goes under sea or oh, gets attacked. Making north to war. Yeah, if you completely take Most it over. Secure. Yep. Yeah. And there's no well, there's no, they are doubt he's going to do any mustering anyway. But. Right. Okay. And a hit back. So the north is at war. And now Fellowship moves, gets hit again. <laughs> I'm guessing, random. yeah, this they has to be a direction. random. Uh-huh. All right, so that's interesting. Nowhere so, really for him to go. Where do you, where do you send him? Uh, maybe back to the forwards of Brunin or down towards Lorien or Carrick. And then he can maybe with a card get to Erebor or Lorien. Yeah, pretty far. Maybe from Erebor. then. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd probably go east. I mean, oh. I, I would probably oh, go sorry. west. I'd, I'd go west, yeah. Toward, yeah. toward Rivendell. Okay. So there's. Yeah. Makes sense. Nowhere good to go, they say. All right. Four hunts in a row have been successful. But these Nazgul, I mean, to be. Yes, that was certainly good um, luck for Shadow, but also, you know, Jason did spend the dice to. Um, get onto the fellowship right there. Mm. All right. So Isengard gets mustered one toward war and then move again. This is a 75% chance of getting hit and gets hit again. All right. So a six, <laughs> if I'm going to roll a six every time, it seems you might as might as well move as wait. And yeah, that makes yeah. sense. That's what Jason said. Okay, another three. So I think all the threes, all the threes are gone now. I Not think. Cool. So yep. God, <laughs> this has certainly been, it's been an empty pool for murder. Yeah, and and this is an interesting situation. You might, I mean, I don't know if I would. It, it might make sense to lose Strider here. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Because you're gonna lose a lot of time having to heal this back. If you don't have Athelas, then. Yeah, and where where are you going to heal? You know, there isn't a good place to heal, and there's no way to yeah. use. The, if if you're if at this point you think to yourself, I'm gonna the hunt is going so poorly, I'm gonna leave Strider in the Fellowship to be able to um, soak up that three corruption. Now is the time to soak up the three corruption because there's no threes. There are no other threes. Or left. or you keep Strider to turn him in Aragorn and then assault so Mordor. Frankly, like well, the Fellowship can just stay there. <laughs> If right. That's how we want to play it. Right. If you want to switch at this point to a full military attack, then you could do that. Um yeah. and just go up to but eight corruption. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Or to even take a random if Strider dies, uh, if you're unlucky enough to get two hobbits in a row on threes, then Right. And this well, you get to go further. Right. And I think this is really the drawback of the high pass route. You know, yeah, exactly. th there was a you avoided the extra tile from from Moria, um, which is obviously significant, but you have no place to heal the fellowship. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you can get 
but and even just to send companions, you're further from Mordor, eh, from Gondor, sorry. And usually, like it's good for getting to Dale, but it's very easy for the Shadow to get to Dale. So, yeah, and anywhere Erebor and especially, but Wooden Realm, if it even survives, is quite a bit out of your route to move, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, well. Okay, random. Yeah, random. Gimli goes. And let's see. Getting the Witch King. So the last action, getting the Witch King. Makes sense. And. Oh, well, drawing Athelos. That gives you a little bit of hope as free people. Mm -hmm. Corsairs of Umbar will that. certainly be good for Shadow. It's a good. All right, so they declare the fellowship. Well, okay, I suppose. And so the thing, usually you go for Karak because it protects you from Orc Patrol and things like that. But, exactly. uh, of course, uh, you're at least making it put the effort in to get that reroll. Exactly. All right, Ali can one. You only, only need, you only need one. <laughs> right, Jason's hit every single hunt, five hunts in a row. Uh, so, oh, at least, all right, there we go. So free people did get the Will of the West. They have some hope, perhaps. Playing Athelos with That's the... A good one. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe it makes sense to use the character die. I don't know. I guess this gives you a little tempo. All right. Well, there's three. Three. Else. So that's interesting. All right. Suddenly it all looks up. Yeah. So that's interesting. Maybe maybe it made sense to, to move first to avoid this extra reroll when you had Athelos. Mm -hmm. But I guess if you get hit again, you want to be able to lose Strider. So that makes sense. All right. Moving armies around. Getting away of the fellowship. Go for the corruption. Gandalf yeah. shows up. Sorry. Thing is, he's moved moved him in before he bothered, uh, before he flipped him, so we don't get the nice sound clip. <laughs> what happens if you get a nice sound clip if you just when you first move Gandalf way on? Is that wizard is never late? <laughs> uh huh. Oh well, that was a good impression. So so we're okay. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> <Come here. laughs> I enjoyed it. Okay, so. Black. Oh, draw a character card. That's interesting. Ooh, black Captain Command. Right. Well. Yeah. So that's an interesting I choice. Playable ones. Apart from dreadful spells, but I wouldn't use that here. So. Yeah, I don't think you probably need it against that. And. That would be a very good draw. Yeah, but it makes sense if you already have Corsairs of Umbar, then what you're really looking for is something like Cruel Weather or Black Captain Commands, or Ringwraiths are abroad, or Grand. There were quite a few cards that would have been good to see there. And if you get a bad one, then you can cycle it in your upcoming attack in Woodland Realm. So yeah, makes sense to draw first. All yeah, right. Is it to move? Yeah, that's interesting. Mm, I don't know. I probably would have taken the two. Ah, unless he's... Yeah, he's going to attack. Okay. Yeah. So these not. I suppose with the fellowship not to move, you get your two re rolls and your two dice. And you can get your two sixes. Can I? Yeah. I mean, okay. Jason is really investing a lot of effort actually in the hunt. He's he's it's obviously going rolling well, but he's also spending time. I mean, to give up to not have five leadership in Woodland Realm. Um. Yeah, this is this is really interesting, and I think this is a consequence of another consequence of going high pass that the route for the fellowship is very predictable, and so yes, exactly. the resources needed by Shadow to cover it all with Nazgul is just not that high. I have went back down to Lorien to heal and give it a four uh, worn with silver and toil, but it's an extra step from oh, yeah. from this way from Old Ford, yeah. Old Ford, and then down south. Is twelve, I think. To one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, but if you if you stop in Lorien, then it's thirteen. Yeah, exactly. 
And otherwise it's 11. It's 11 if you go through Moria. Exactly. Although that would have got him an extra two tiles, probably. Right. Because he would have been... Well, based on what he did, he did uh, a reveal into his third move. So. Right. And he plays Onslaught. Yeah. Quite bold. Yeah. But I, maybe just a recycle. Right. I guess his plan is just get rid of... Get rid of um, Woodland Realm and then be done. Not move on to not move on to Erebor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you're not moving on to Erebor, then wouldn't you think you're gonna take Helm's Deep at some point? And then isn't this a great card? Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting. Maybe he won't end up playing it. Okay. No hits for Shadow. Mm -hmm. No hits for Free Save People. Save six. And four. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Yeah. Let's try four. Gets the expected okay. number, which is two. All right. And then does not press. No press, of course. You get a stretch card, and the elves are not a war either. Yep. So okay. it, it feels like maybe that was a little risky by Shadow if there had been no hits, but the chances of that are very low. Yeah, exactly. And it would be great with one more hit. Obviously, because it would have won, but. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. There's a chance to just take it right there. Okay, so moving, moving now, now. <laughs> and hit six uh, six hits in a row. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yep, six hits in a row. All right, a two, and Legolas goes away. And then armies move. Yeah, makes sense. Just enough to take out Woodland Realm. Yeah. Oh, and so too far. Right? Yeah, okay. t yeah. Two units moved into. Um, Woodland mm -hmm. Realm and then Farharad getting ready for Corsairs. Yeah. All right. So oh, that's... Yeah. It's hard to know. Does that does that make sense? Maybe that... we could play the Aomer. Yeah, you could play Aomer. Or just move, or just move a... these units from Edoras into Westamnet. Yeah, I guess. Well, let's fit it. Yeah, it's hard to know. The other thing to consider here, if you haven't drawn um, Immerhill of Dol Amroth or Cirdan's Ships, then I think con con considering mustering up Gondor is a possibility to counterplay against Corsairs. Now, you're probably not going to be in time, but having a couple extras into Dol Amroth before Corsairs hits can be very useful now i suppose it's yeah, several ahead. actions for the uh shadow to get ready you've got one march playing the card and two musters for the seth rounds, so it would only be two more uh, two musters for gondor and then as many as you want to learn right and especially compared to brie you can't do very much with brie usually yeah yeah, this would give some hope. If you think, well, Woodland Realm's going to fall, the Fellowship's not doing great, but maybe I can stall Shadow in other places. Maybe that's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. And now that's interesting. So Woodland Realm falls. I think that makes sense, but it does activate Cairdon's ships on Dol Amroth. True. Oh, interesting. Playing Swarm of Bats here. Mm -hmm. I really like Swarm of Bats for taking out Fords of Aizen, but maybe... Jason just isn't planning on taking out Rohan at all. Not many options. All right, that does Cards, get the hit so. that he needs, though. And those elves did not fight back very well. All right. Day without dawn. Show and they drew day without dawn. All right, round four. Another tile. A little late on and King the Brand, late. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, new powers rising. What do you get and rid of here? Do we expect a massive waste of fell from the deep like last time? <laughs> <laughs> what do you what What do you get rid of here? Mm, probably dreadful spells. Okay, let's see. Correct. Yeah. Very nice. Oh. All right. So fellowship. I, I mean, with that corruption, corruption heavy, then you keep Nazgul strike. But I would say that's generally a better card. But if you're about to suddenly spill forth from Orthanc because you have new power that's rising, then maybe Devil Ray of Orthanc's worth hanging on to instead of Black Breath. Right. 
So this is an interesting moment. We, um, the free people did not declare the fellowship into Old Forest Road, which obviously is the same number of rerolls either way. But I wonder if it if it makes sense to have done that, knowing that Nazgul Search and Nazgul Strike are still out. Um, cause this way Nazgul strike can still be played right now. I don't think Jason would play it, but it is possible. And if you get no character dice, then maybe you'll want to. So this should be interesting. Yeah. I've always got the part here. All right. So moving right away. Mm-hmm. So it keeps his be- movement high for separation or if he gets a hobbit as well. Yes, that's true. Um, Right, and if you know you're going to move first action anyway, then then that does make a lot more sense. And and the other thing about this is, if the shadow player has something like foul thing from the deep or orc patrol or Isildur's bane, by moving right away, you ensure that you get that point of movement and don't have to and don't have to hide Eight. before moving. Yeah. All right. So Six. hit. This has literally been every single, literally every move. The, the fellowship has been hit. They have not been missed once. And there have been seven moves. The ticket is a corruption for sure. With One corruption gets yep. revealed. And it's past the armies, but they fall. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So, Ooh, so okay. shadow. He is going to. Yep. And we can do shadows gather. Oh, so yeah. oh, the South Rounds and Easterlings can get to war, and then you can gather in Dale. And, that, and they could also gather via Iron Hills, which is the nice. One, one two, two, three. three. Yeah. Block it off. This would be a very nice move. Wow. Yeah, this has been a very efficient getting... Yeah, uh, I don't... Well, the Fellowship's not lost, but the Free People's not having a good time. Yeah. So it turns out, even with that four-point onslaught, Shadow's still going to have enough to take out Erebor. Um you know, I think with Dane Ironfoot's guard, maybe it would be a little different. If the Woodland Realm battle had inflicted even a few casualties on Dale, it might have been different. Yeah, one in Dale, that was it. And this and is here's Felthing. This is the right timing for Falfing yeah. because Fellowship just hid. All right. So yes, yeah, and you've also got a low number of companions, so one third of Strider if you do any damage. Right, and yes. there were four ones in there. There were there were quite a few ones that could have gotten a very tasty. Yeah, we a strong companion. Yep. And if it hides again. Okay, South Rounds and Easterlings. Of course, there's. Or, you know, for. Yeah, I was going to say, finally get some of these tiles out. It's not played a card, it's an event yet. That's from right. What I Apart from Athalas. Yeah. And they can get Corsair straight away. Or, no, sorry, he was doing that. Yep, by Iron Hills. Very good. Dwarves go down for what's worth. What? With with nothing, with being far from war, doesn't really make sense to do that. Yeah, because they can't actually move into Woodland Realm. So that was moving a unit from Erebor with the their Heath to try and get into Woodland Realm. And moving... Up towards Angmar and good Yeah... I'm not understanding this but move. A low. Yeah, and then you just do that. All right, no real rush on Erebor, and it weakens it weakens Erebor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's tough. I mean, you're definitely in a bad bad shape up there, but I think if some of these musters had been getting Gondor mustered up, then yeah, Shadow has five victory points up here in the north, but getting Dol Amroth might be a little bit harder. I mean... Well, perhaps he was watching the semi-final videos and they saw what havoc was rained in the dew line by a little army up there. By Jason. And yeah. Peter. Oh, that was a great draw of ship. and ships. Oh, just with the Corsairs in position as well. Yeah, that's yeah. a great roll. And you've not got a threat against Lorien as it was last time where the elves just ran out. So I think he's, this is perfect timing, obviously. All right. And what do you get rid of? They're back again. Yeah, that makes total sense. Yep. Okay. So two eyes. The cards to play. Day without dawn. Now, 
mm-hmm. which I think makes a lot of sense because now the fellowship's not going to get to move unless they use a ring. Mm, that's fair. And yeah, I think, you know, usually you want to save your wills of the West, but I think if you know in this situation, I'm going to want to move, I think it makes sense to use it. All right. With the other sea dice, that makes sense. Right. Erebor so gets attacked. Erebor. Only a few units. All in. in. Grand. Because there's no age dice, so he's having to spend a ring to take back Dale and then die. Makes. Is that not worth that? Definitely not. Not worth the investment. Yep. Three hits. Three hits on Grand. Three hits back. Only one back. That's actually three back because of Desperate Battle. Oh, yeah. But it's still... Yeah. Yes, yeah, so uh, Jason noticed and took three anyway. Yep. That's good. And that's and that's interesting to to not reduce to... to oh, do we not... Does um, free people not have enough? No, there, there are Dwarven regulars. So why not leave yourself with three regulars and roll three dice instead of an elite? Mm. Oh, oh, I see. We just didn't quite. Oh, we had two. You only had five heads. Yeah, right. So. No, I didn't. Yeah. You killed one, then downgraded one. Right. Uh, you could have just taken the elite and then downgraded the other, but. Right. So, a great host. Excellent. one hit back you know and i think if you imagine if you imagine this battle with that extra regular in there into erebor maybe maybe it lives all right so you get close but not entirely so Jason is saving his cards, even though he has two different great hosts. He's just he's just saving just a his strong cards. Crawl. You could definitely spend that, but no need. Yeah. So look at this. I mean, this battle was really close. If you had drawn Dane Ironfoot's guard, this this regular in Withered Heath could have made a difference mm-hmm. in that battle. I mean, maybe Jason mm-hmm. wouldn't have pushed so hard, but or use the card more so. Right. Right. So this is maybe there's not. A strong army to kill with a heath. Maybe if you can survive and then walk in the last action, play King's Brand, King Brand's men on the next turn. Right. It is interesting. There are possibilities, particularly if if Free had uh, scouts. You know, they don't they don't actually have scouts, but if they did have scouts. All right. Getting the blue murder if it makes it. Right. Oh, where's Fair? I'm he's going to spend a ring to move in. Move the fellowship, brother. Right. Yeah, if you spend a ring this round, then maybe you can get three movement next round and get in. But it's certainly, certainly tough. All right. Lorian gets mustered. And, and it's, oh, again. again. Okay. And it's only got the two L's left now. We're sure dead. Right. Okay, that. Uh, right. So. Didn't spend a ring. So Fellowship did not move. Oh, I missed North Rune going to Dale. So there goes that plan. Yeah, it's tricky to figure out what, is that, what does that regular do. Yeah, he's just stuck. Lamenting the loss of his people. <laughs> oh, right. a lot of eyes. Right. So maybe he should have moved last time. Um, and unfortunately, no big military conquest counter coming in. Right. It does give you a little bit of time, but. Yeah, and here you can certainly see curtains coming. Yeah. And this well, is. Guards, a... guards ready. Nice. And you can see both Ring Racer Abroad and Corsairs of Umbar mean that, that Shadow is still going to get three attacks this round. Mm. So. Those are good, good. Oh, oh my God! This guy cards. Okay. All right. Free draws a card. More Lorien units. That's a bit of a shame. It's now daylight, so. Right. Elven regular. 
That's, that's a little risky. Okay. There's only one. Now there's only one um, elven there's... regular. So when you play when you play Keridan ships and get two elites into Dol Amroth, then only that one of them a, can God turn God into a regular. Mm-hmm. If there are two hits, then you have to just lose an elite straight up instead of turning them both into regulars. Yeah. All right. Oh, new powers rising. Interesting. I I ex- it over there. Yeah, I expected um, Corsairs of Umbar oh, and Ringwraiths are abroad, but this is maybe new powers rising, and then you can get into Fords of Eisen and then Helm's Deep. Yeah, Helm's Deep under siege for that, and apart from EMR, but he doesn't know what's that. Okay. Going for a military victory. Mm-hmm. It'd be cool. It's possible, I guess. All right. Yeah, leave one back. Makes sense. All right. Corsairs of and Umbar. Small Corsairs, anyway. Yep. Leaving one. Got to go stand. Cadence ships. Kirden. Yes, it's a good point they've made. If you save, if you don't play Kirdan, uh, so you can have more elves on the attack, then you're kind of scuppered. Because uh, the shadow just gets 10 points when you get to 4. Right. If you go walk through Gondor. Yeah. So then again, having a charge with that Lorraine army could be pretty good. Oh, giving a ring. So this is giving a ring as an army movement. Hmm. To put both under siege in two actions is going to be hard. Because my good about is not getting taken with that army, really. Seems really hard. Hmm. Maybe if um, the shadow rolls uh, very badly again. Like a ridiculous number of eyes. We'll see, yeah. All right. So no eyes by shadow and roll zero. Yeah, so this is interesting. No, not bad. Maybe the military threat lets you um, get several free movements here. True. Attacking Mount Gundabad with this seems very unlikely to be able to take that. It's got any excellent cards. Yeah. I mean, I wonder at this point, do you... Valor. Charge. Valor again. Do, do you move Do you move twice for free with the Fellowship? I that wonder. is nice. Or even three with a ring. Right. Right. Yeah, because getting to Mordor safely... Yeah, it'd be really nice if oh, they could get in. Fully. Safer, yeah. yeah. All right, so... This is probably the best route, though. Ring wraiths are abroad, bringing two Nazgul in to help that defense. Mm-hmm. Three. And okay. bringing Nazgul. And attacking Dentor's Pelagia. Yeah, this is interesting. So why why is Shadow giving up on Dol Amroth? I guess they're going to go after Minas Tirith instead? I don't mm. understand this yet. That was a good army to take that, frankly. Maybe, maybe the plan is to... I don't Mock know. Get, everything. You could maybe get the four cities. These armies could take the Shire. I don't know. That's it not. Still needs a stronghold. So yes, getting all four. Moving forward. Well, you still got the done landings ready. But you leave one behind anyway, or not? So this is yeah. Okay. This is the problem with going after. So Golder, you leave Lorien quite undefended. Attack Old Golder. And Lorien goes under you siege. Uh, you don't have I any. suppose it's got a high hand, not again. Yeah. There's no even there's no elves Kel- left. Kel- no elves left. Can't even muster yeah. in Lorien with um Celeborns, even though you have the card. Mm-hmm. Alright. 
So. Yeah, use your ring. Makes sense. Let's try and attack Mount, Mount Gundabad. This is certainly a. This is so dread and despair, maybe. That's what you worry about. Yeah, it's, it's just unlikely to work. All right, cruel as death, so you get bonus to hit. Valor plus one, so theoretically possible. If you roll a mm -hmm. bunch of fives, could be exciting. Hey, two hits. That's true. And zero hits back. Wow, that was a bold, <laughs> bold, valorous attack, and it's it's working. Good. It's got another valor. All right, so reduces, and. What's the shadow box kind of nothing? And manages to get go. it. That is amazing. That is Oh, Gilter really... can easily fall here. So that was unexpected. I did not think that attack could work, but that was a great play. So now can Shadow get to five, to ten points? Lordian Pelagia Minister. Or Lorien, Plagier, Helmsteep. Where is this attack? This is Lorien. Grey host for the automatic. Wait a But there's why no leader in there. It's not actually allowed to play it either. But the difference it makes. Yeah. No leader at all. Okay, so that was an illegal card play. But... Yeah. Um, oh, power to great now. I was just talking about that, but... Brutal. Right. Would that have hurt? No, they ha they have a deadly strife, I guess. All right. Mm -hmm. So. Master. Yep. Oh, he's used Ring Racer abroad, though. Otherwise, that would have been right enough to get him. Yeah, so by drawing that card. Yeah. He's got one, and then one, two, three attacks on Helm's Deep. I see things to attack and take Helmsteep all at once and hope that it's not an end. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because free people need to use um, oh, yeah. the attack. They've not actually oh. got to 4 yet. Yeah. So what was the... Wasn't there some scouts played at some point earlier? What was that? Am I no. misremembering? No, we were talking about it. With oh, the oh, the, the, the um, swarm of bats. I thought that maybe Shadow should have saved Swarm of Bats for this moment, but there's no scouts anyway, so. All right, so. Um, Charge, yeah, good set. All right. So that. Although maybe not done. necessary against this one unit. Yeah, but there's nowhere else to play it because Helm's Deep is going to fall. So this is, this is just enough, just enough to take out Helm's Deep. Um, all right, so no hits against Ooh. Fords and it's two hits. Against, yeah, so it's going to be close, very close. Helm's Deep goes under siege. Great host first. And yeah. then finally. What would I say? <laughs> A very dead ring. All right, an mm -hmm. attack. All right, we come to kill is always a great way to start. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And this is really an exciting finish. <laughs> All right, so no no hits on that oh, attack, okay. obviously. Bad luck. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, I was proposing oh, well. that ties go to free people. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so... Yeah, I mean, Jason would love that. He's the military one. And there you go. Right. Two hits on Will the West. So, Just grabbed it no more. Uh, yeah, and we come to kill. Right. Yeah, so that was that, that was, was exciting. Military. That was really well I played. totally agree with the giving up on the fellowship. That was going pretty harshly. It was really surprising that, that um, such a small force was able to be successful in Mount Gundabad. I don't know exactly what the odds of that were, but it was clearly the right play. I mean, the, there were very long odds to get the fellowship um, to Mordor, so it makes sense to try for that. 
I wonder. Yeah, yeah. putting some effort into the Lamroth, he could take it. I would think. Although even with charges and valors to counter. Right. Uh, but and then they could take Blar Gear, but Minas Tirith might cause mischief. And then Lori, if he didn't go for the military, sorry, then Lorien is uh, very hard to take. And he's got time to play Eomer and to beef up Hellsteep and things. So. That's true. Yeah. It, the thing. But, yeah. yeah, he stretched him and just was able to stretch him back. Yeah, that was a yeah, really well, interesting ending. I mean, free people managed to get to four victory points. It's hard to know exactly what should have happened with this this Dol Golder army, and should you have left more in Lorien? That's really hard to know. Mm-hmm. All right, let's look at um, statistics just so we can take a look there. Um, I have a different view. I ended up on minus one on shadows. Oh wait, sorry, you're looking at both hands, so these are probably wrong. Um. So these these dice are reversed when you're looking at a replay. The reverse. Right. Yeah, the 128. That makes dice. sense. So, yeah. Okay. So these were nothing. I mean, I guess a few extra palantirs for Shadow, but they drew a lot of good cards at the right times to be I'm able, able to play some effective ones. Whereas other than the three, uh, like Athalas and the three blue tiles, which are never used, they weren't. And Sudan, there wasn't very many uh, free people events going on. Yeah, it was it was pretty balanced. Well, that's the game. We're on to game three. We'll do another um, another one time. of these sessions. Thank you very much, everybody who joined, and looking forward to uh, showing you game three. Thanks so much, Summer. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Bye, bye everyone.